when we were kids, we'd go fishing, we'd share a rod. One cast, one cast, one cast, one cast. And as the older brother, I had to take the first cast. Now we bring enough fishing poles that us and all the people we run into have something to fish with. Hey, let the adventure begin, y'all. We loaded up. We got more gear on this boat than I think humanly possible. Looks like we're uh, circling up here to see what they floated up for us. All right, y'all, some African pompanos working their way up. Woo! That pit, that was a beautiful spot. Awesome, y'all. All right, I got Robert over there. <laughs> well, you all were all like, you're gonna see a giant school. And you need to shoot one, but you need to shoot a big one. And I was so, like, shoot, shoot, so we're in shoot! A big school, and I'm like looking, and like they have long scutes or whatever. And I'm like looking, looking. There's a big one. They're both screaming at me, and I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Hold on, I got a lure in my hand. Dang. I found a nomad. I tried shooting a gigantic yellowtail and missed one-handed. Uh, dude, there was a lot of fish there. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I'm sorry you only got the two African pompano there. Oh, yeah. What, you mean limited out? You're sorry we limited out in the first five seconds of the dive? That's why you come with Tom. Right there. It's a blind date charter. First time I ever met him. Hey, that rock was a blind date. That was the first time we ever hooked up with it. Hey, I'd say we scored. Out. The whole time I was down there, I said, listen, if this GoPro ain't rolling, I'm going to hit it with a hammer <laughs> live on YouTube. Luckily, it's still working. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> so, on the drop, right off, just like you predicted, uh, AJ's African pompanos, big mangrove swimming way off the bottom to come meet us. These two get African pompanos, we send them up, and Robert Ooh. cut me some, like, he's like, hogfish that way. I was like, what? And he takes her and go, 
Home fresh! And I was like, mm, I'll be back. <laughs> Pow! <laughs> Yeah, man. Blast. We could have piled up the mangroves. You saw that big one I shot. Yeah, yeah. yeah nice, big nice mangrove. mangrove. Hey, guess what? We're just getting started, ladies and gentlemen. He swam up to me. I'm like, you just swam up to the wrong woman. All right, y'all. So we just got done diving, and I'm going to drop the jig. Now, a lot of people say, oh, you got to have a slow pitch rod to drop a slow pitch jig. That's nonsense. I'm, I've got a slow pitch jig here. This is a favorite old salty rod. It's got 15 pound test braid and a 30 pound test leader. Now, over on our coast, we have a lot of current. And with that, with that current, you have to make big swoops with the, with the rod in order to make it move. Here, we're doing a technique called tickling the bottom. I love that saying, tickle the bottom. There he is, son. What you got on there? I don't know, but I got something too. What you got? Oh, look at the bin in that rod. Mm. Look at them all coming up with them. Look at that. Are you kidding me? Lauren's got one. <laughs> well, hey, needless to say, links to old blind date over here will be in the description below. Hey. There's only so many fish you can put on a video. Like, people that say fishing is boring have never fished with this joker. Or they're in the wrong spot. Uh, that's an African pompano. Is it? Oh, Austin, beautiful. beautiful Watch this one. Fantastic, bro. Look yeah, he, at got that. His he got his redemption. I got my redemption. <laughs> we Cameraman are awesome. Austin breaks bad with his second African pompano of the day. Yes. Dude, I got to get a picture of that. That's beautiful. Look at them streamers. Hold him up here, Austin. Let me see him real good. Look at them crazy things. Beautiful. Man. Hey, Lauren, what do you got going on here? Listen, Watch I hooked him. I don't know how, but I hooked him. <laughs> hey, caught fish is a caught fish. Hey, I just gave you that jig. No, yeah, you gave it to me and somehow Lauren caught fish on it. Short arms. Lauren, look here. <laughs> there Hold it on, is. Let me get a picture. What a great fish. This is more of a pencil type, long, skinny. Got two hooks on the bottom, one on the top. We're going down. Down, down, down she goes. Where she goes, no one knows. <laughs> it's insane. Ooh, nice fish. Aubrey's tearing him up. What on earth do I have here? African pompano. African pompano! Look at that, y'all. That's a pretty specimen right there. <laughs> I've seen him driving and doing well. Look at that. I had him hooked with all three hooks. Look at this. This is a juvenile. I've speared one, I've caught one and I've had an amazing time. We've smashed them. Y'all wanted to see African Pompano? You saw African Pompano. Now we're gonna go back to the dock. We're gonna flay them up. These things have amazingly beautiful meat. Then we're gonna go to the house and we're gonna cook something just phenomenal. I'm gonna really go all out and make some kind of wonderful, wonderful recipe that really highlights how special of a fish that is. Hey, talk about the most insane African pompano action I've ever seen. Yeah, that's what that was. And they have very prolific ribs. So you kind of have to get in there around that. And then just like a Mai Mai, the meat comes way up into the head. And as good as this is, you want to make sure you get every single ounce of it. Now, you see how I'm staying off a little bit there? Right here are like hard ridges. 
So you sort of go around that and then take your knife and come down underneath of it. And then it will flatten out right here and it's gonna be just sort of normal. Pop that out. You wanna see what gorgeous meat looks like? This is what gorgeous meat looks like. Mm -hmm. Now we'll take this and like always, I'll sort of There you go. And down here, it's the same thing. It's that heavy ridge. So cut down and you hold that filet, comes right off just like that. Do not try to skin this like a typical fish. We're gonna take it inside and I'll show you how to deal with it there. We're gonna do it three different ways. Talk about a beautiful day. Now we've got our fish all cleaned up and ready to go. I'm gonna cut the bottom of it right there and get rid of that scrap. Then you can see the center line here. I want to come right down that center line on both sides. That way I'm gonna get rid of the bloodline and any bones that might be there. That's our top loin. That's the premier piece of meat on this entire fish but we're gonna do this a couple different ways. Let's start off with this piece right here. Gently cut down to the skin and then with a sharp knife, cut it right off the skin, just like that. Now that we have skinned our bottom section, let's just take our fingers and cut this into nice slices just like that. Now, I'm just going to run around this plate and make a nice African pompano appetizer. Now that we have all of our fish, let's take some Seaweed salad, put a nice little clump right in the middle. And then on top of that, we're gonna put some pickled ginger, just like that. Now, see that? That's a Meyer lemon. Let's just cut some slices. I cut the outside of the lemon like this so you don't get seeds. Put some right on top. The Meyer lemon has a wonderful flavor to it. It's not as tart as a regular lemon, but it's not as sweet as an orange. It's very, very nice. Then we're gonna take just a little bit of toasted sesame seeds, put it right on top. The reason I like to do this, I like to give the fish a little bit of that toasted nutty flavor. Put a little bit of sriracha. And then we'll do a little bit of wasabi. Now we're just gonna take a little bit of soy and we'll, there you go. What you think about that? Now let's have some fun. We're going real basic here. This is Himalayan pink salt and black pepper. About as simple as it gets, right there. This is where it's gonna get fun. And I've never done this before, this just came to me. It was like an epiphany. I'm gonna take butter, a lot of it. Sarah, my wife doesn't even know this, but I love that she does this. She always keeps warm butter right in here. Like, then whenever I'm putting butter on bread, it's soft and it goes on right. I love that, so I will replace it here in a minute. Well, we've got our butter, it's soft. Then we're gonna take wasabi. We're gonna make a wasabi butter here. Put a bunch of wasabi on there, about like that. And then we're gonna mix this all up. Look at that. We've kicked it up a notch. That's wasabi butter, but we're gonna go a step farther uh, you've seen me use this stuff a lot. You can find this in the, in the um, produce section at Publix. 
and they make several different brands. It's that's ginger and that's way more than what I wanted to use. So I'm going to skip garlic now. I was going to put just a dab, but I've got butter, wasabi, ginger, and lemongrass. I think that's going to be a wonderful, wonderful combination. Put a little bit of vegetable oil in there. Then we're going to take a spoonful of our seasoned butter, wasabi butter, put it in there. Now, hmm. looks good to me. Now, because this is a new process, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna dab some of this love and goodness right on top there. This is what you're looking for. You can see that white line going about midway through the fish. That means it's time to flip it. You only want to flip this one time. See how now you have the beautiful caramelization? Whoo! That appears to be done. We've got a crunchy kale salad. We've got our fresh African pompano. Now I want to drizzle just a little bit of Meyer lemon juice down the center and hit it with a little bit of zest. Now you might wonder, why did I do the zest? Zest has an oil to it, and it, it just permeates the flavor, it's amazing. Last but not least, we're gonna give it a little crunch with some masago. There you go. I am probably more excited to eat that than anything I've made in a long time. We're going to start off with some of the pompano and Sarah and the girls are coming back, but it's going to be about an hour till they get here and I simply cannot wait that long. Mm. The texture is amazing, like very firm, but not tough, so it's got bite to it, but it's not tough. Mm, man, put a little wasabi. Any sushi restaurant you were to go to anywhere, if you were to get this, you would say, wow. Look at how nice and white and flaky. It, it has a totally different look and feel once you've cooked it. I can taste the lemongrass all the herbs. It's juicy. It's a winner. Look how that just comes off of there. And see how now you've got some of the masago, the, the eggs. Mm. Absolute perfection. Winner, winner. I'm eating an African pompano for dinner, and it's amazing. Got to give everybody a shout out on this one. Captain Tom, Blind Date Charters, thank you so much. You said, what do you want to get? And we said African pompano. When the boat stopped, we went in the water. There's a wall of African pompano. Get in the boat, all of us caught African pompano. Heck, Austin caught an African pompano while we were down diving. Absolutely amazing. Aubrey and, and Yaya, thank you so much for inviting me along. And Austin Crackerton, who is holding the camera right now. Thanks for getting great shots as always. If you haven't already, folks, please subscribe. It's free. I don't contact you. But if you subscribe and ring that little bell, there's a little bell next to it, that'll notify you every single time I upload. So then, if you want to watch my videos, you'll be notified and you'll know about it. But um, that's all I got for today. Thanks for hanging out. We are gone.